Greetings to your community church and uh, greetings to everyone who is part of us this morning and uh, even those who will be listening to this someone later on. May the good Lord bless you all. Um, today, kile jajila jajila sontaha re tlo tswela pele ka molaetsa rena or a service here in Aya Sunday, every Sunday. Uh, today, we are on time. Um, and we thank God for that. And the protection, the provision that He does uh, to us, the pro, uh, 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 protection. We thank you, our most uh, high God. Hi God, we are who we are, we are where we are. The reason we are breathing today is because of him and his grace. We can never stop acknowledging him. He is our God. Um, and let me also um, thank Ntatesia for the Bible studies, Jaraf and Jonaka Tuesday. So uh, let us... Um, I'm encouraging everyone to be part of our Tuesday Bible studies. Uh, let us uh, enjoy and learn from this man of God uh, who is really uh, being used by God every Tuesday, giving us uh, the mouth of God through Bible studies. Um, the Bible studies are uh, 6, so everyone wanya kanguituta kamudimu it is important to go over part of that Bible study every Tuesday. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the Bible study. I'm going to go to the Bible study. I'm going to go to the Bible study. We don't understand uh, as if we know because but to bara ta witira bona ba otseba so in order for you go otsebe you need to be part of uh, this Bible studies and Sunday services because we are preaching God's word only not our imagination, not what we think is right, not our experience, but we are preaching God's word. So, real leboga, ritlo tjwa la pele ka molaetsa wa rena wa the knowability of God. I told you gore, it is important for us to know God because there are many people, there are many gods today in this world. Uh, last week, we have Allah, we have Mudimu Atabas, we have Kibabanyinchi, and we hear scandals every day about pastors worshipping other things. So if you don't know your God, you will find yourself uh, those waves, doctrine, those worshipping those things, uh, thinking Hore, you are doing God's will thinking you are worshipping the God of heaven and earth. Hantine, you are worshipping uh, and we know Hore, we have only one God. That is why I have a Bumudimu. So, uh, last week, just giving the summary of last week, as it will continue today, uh, I'm still gonna continue uh, so I'm just gonna explain few today I'm going to teach few uh, because I'm trying to and uh, I mean it's easier for people to understand if you give them small portion so given the summary of last week last week re wolejika um Yahweh or the name Yahweh in the book of Exodus region from the book of Exodus because I read from Exodus 10 to 15. Now go Moses ya wala le mudima roma Moses to 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 uh, to Egypt or I rescue the Israelites. Mudimu na nyaka or rescue ya bana bagai through Moses. So Moses wa mucha or reki fita batu mbucha or na mudimu anrumiling. Kemang, Lina Lai Kemang. 
so na go reng den modimo thoma o ke go mo tlhalosetse ro ba botse gore ya we on romile den ya we it simply means um or eske bo letse ro maina modimo a tlhalosa se o modimo e leng tsona so ya we e no bolla gore ke modimo who is eternal and unchanging and then ha tswela pele gore o ba botse gore i am who I am, or I am has sent me, and then I am in Allah, or he is eternal and self-existing. He does not exist because of anyone. How na mo tuagarang na I gave birth to God, or mudimu na le papa, mudimu na le mano, he is self-existing, self-sustaining. He does not need you, he does not need anyone to exist. He exists because of himself. And then again, the name Adonai uh, in Exodus chapter 16, and then I mean uh, chapter 3, verse 16, and then again in chapter 6, verse 3, this is the name which I did not introduce myself to Israel. Israel, they know Yahweh, they don't know. Adonai, and then Adonai Kelelungri. God has not uh, revealed Himself for it before He spoke to Moses. Obiasuki revealed Kalona to the Israelites, so He is revealing His name to Moses. So in order Moses to give a fit like what are the rumileki mudimu Adonai, then it was going to be, you know, a different story. The Israelites never got to be worried. Because by the name Yahweh and I am, he has already revealed himself to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They knew those names. And then even Banababo uh, or Israelites, they knew who uh, Yahweh is. So, but Adonai, so he is revealing himself to Moses by the name Adonai, which is Lord, or you can say Jehovah. So, Mudimu Waki Revila to Moses, Kalona Lina, Exodus 6, verse 3, which will let Jehovah. So, this and then again, Revile Jeleka, the name Theos, the Greek name Theos, Ye Wulalanga, the deity, according to uh, the Greeks or any other pagans, only the deity, gore, anyone who is uh, doing supernatural, or the, 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 this theos, uh, according to them, it is a um, supernatural being who is considered divine and secret. Anyone who is who has that characteristics, or who has those characteristics, he is theos, or a deity, or a god. So, muto mungulo mungu agatang ajwela ali supernatural to them is God with small letter G. If you remember uh, Paul, is it Paul and Silas who were preaching? And then uh, Paul was preaching and then there was a man uh, amongst those people who was crippled. O Paul ilenga mufodisha. And then Paul just said to him, because baby let him level la over ni two mel or a monola eh over another two mel or a kai mel la kafola because he was born crippled. And then Paul or moe na or emelela eh kali na la Jesu. And then wa emel la monola ya warufodile. So those people started worshiping Paul and eh, eh, Paul and the person he was with. And then but maba hana bar no don't do that. Haser na bar dirlenseo ke Jesu Christ ke modimo ke then eh uh, they stoned him but the goal here in talking ga ngwe bontsha ke gore they saw Paul as God with small letter G because of the supernatural power. According to them that is something that is against nature. You just tell someone who is who was born crippled or emelela and then that person so they saw Paul as God with small letter G. So the pagans, uh, this theos is from uh, the God or, or, or is from the pagans. He was a, a, a describer, 
their God or someone with supernatural uh, powers who is, according to them, he is divine and secret. So such person deserve to be God with small letter G according to pagans. So Theos, if you remember uh, in the book of Acts chapter 17, um, Paul, I think he was in Berea, if I'm not mistaken, had many altars. So these altars, according to the idols, and then there was this one, it was to unknown God. So Paul, has, as he was observing, he, he, he realized all those things, and then he started introducing this unknown God to them. So this is a sign, Yagore, there are many gods out there. So if you don't know God of heaven and earth, you will have a problem because you are going to worship many things. So it's better to know who God is and know him even by his name. So it will be easy. Then when you won't be part of those things because you know your God. You even know him by his names because to the Israelites, Augusto Tere Mudimu Kra Kakama Inama Mwe Long Warbana but be Mudimu Kawana Warikirumi Legi Mudimu and then Bauchela Tho. No, they will stone you to death if you come Warikirumi Legi Mudimu ge Allah they will stone you to death. So, but if you say to them, I am, they will know or Adonai, they know who you are talking about. So, this is what we spoke about last week. So, and then ke bolla gore mainana uwe a modima e tjolle jang ko ka ka ona bo Elohim ye bolela nka the power uh, the strength the almighty god because it simply means the almighty god modimo wa matla ka moka e no tjolle ja eh gore ke modimo wa mohuta mang the character of god he is god who is all powerful he is all mighty he has all power that you can think of. So he is our own God. And we see his power in creation, uh, in many things. So this is this was the message of last week. Or Maina Mudimu, the main thing you were Maina Mudimu Atalosa Seo Mudimu Elen Sona. So even today, Rutuala Pil, Rubuncha, Ama we Maina Mudimu and because the name that the Lord has not introduced himself, which is Lord. The, the owner, the creator, say. So this is who God is. It, is, it simply gives us the power of God. He is God who is powerful. So today, uh, let's read in the book of Exodus. Last week, Exodus, Exodus, Exodus chapter 3, verse 10 to 15. And then, and then, Come, I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? He said, But I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you that I have sent you when you have brought the people out of Egypt. You shall serve God on this mountain. Then Moses said to God, If I come to the people of Israel and say to them, 
the God of your father has sent me to you. And they asked me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say this to the people of Israel, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and thus I am to be remembered throughout all generations. Let's go to God in prayer. Mudimwaru wala rato mudimwa matlaka muka mudimwa khaugelo re ale boga papa le momisong ya lekholo re gopela o be le rena morena re gopela keta pele ya gao re gopela polokego re gopela khutjo di pelong tsa rena re gopela joy morena mudimwa ka ka mogare ga rena re le bana ba gao re tlhoka morena this peace the inner peace re tlhoka this joy le re lutsa tsa maika tsela rena father give peace ka mogare ga rena morena go no ba we need to have peace re a le boga le mo mesong ya le khono re gopela e be wena o bolelang le bana ba gao this service i speed she go ena morena tlalosa sengwe le sengwe go bana ba gao re a le boga morena le neng le le matla la mopholoshi jeso amen Revelation gore my name dimo a reveal so mudimo le nsona that is why there are so many because god is doing many things to us so i reveal the characteristics of god se o mudimo le nsona ore se o mudimo a se dirang gore na whatever god is doing to us so that's what his names uh, explains so the first name yeri glory to leader today get the name let me see yahweh tsa both ho lebella eh my name would be to show that atalosa se o modimo e le nsona eh le tsa maya le modimo mamang modimo mamang modimo mamang so this is how it was to the israelites so Okay, to the global laga eh Zaboth, which is God Zaboth, Yahweh Zaboth, Yahweh Jaira, Yahweh Rafa or Rafa, Yahweh Nisi. And then if reka khona reka tswelle jale Yahweh eh ba bangwe ba notse ba eleking eh Kadash, Yahweh Kadash, eh mara ge felle jike eh Mega Dishkem so yahweh e thoma ka yahweh god mamang god mamang e bontsha gore ke modimo wa go dira and i know when i say yahweh you already know who yahweh is because i explained uh, who yahweh i taught who yahweh is last sunday and i just gave you the summary of uh, last sunday sermon so when he sent moses to israel he explained who Yahweh is so okay my name mudimu atalosa se o mudimu elensona were are connected to the actions of God di tiro tsa mudimu so now Yahweh Zaboth in o bolla gore he is God who is in control i mean in the bible it will as God who is the lord of hosts or amis because he is he will be ke modimo who is in control e bile modimo who is in control e sa le modimo who is in control and it lo no tswela pele e le modimo who is in in control generation to generation e no ba se o tsa both e bolelang so how is he 
in control. He is in control, reborn in creation. God is was in control of creation, or he is in control of creation. He was in control when he created heavens and the earth and everything that lives in the earth. And we know what happened uh, to Adam and Eve because over there was a mong abafamela o ababucha ko ba pila kamu komang so reba pan la gudi raso mudimu arileng basi dire aira ro mudimu is not in control he is in control that is why he disciplined them by uh, expelling them from the garden. So he is in control. Kimudimwa control, kimudimwa order. He governs. He leads. And mudimura leader, he lead through his angels. He lead through his armies. Kuri, everything eh, God is in control of all those things. And he is a God. To show he is in control, he uses his creation to accomplish his purpose. I think we can give example ka Jesu Christ, where for Jesus eventually to be born. We know the line where actually like guy Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, who are with David, come can have until Christ was born. God was in control and there were wars eh, 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 amongst those generations after generations. There were wars, the lion could have been killed but because God is in control. He preserved his line until Christ was born. His purpose was accomplished. Even today, God is in control. His purpose is being accomplished. We are preaching the gospel, doing the purpose of God. People are being saved. People will see heaven. That is the purpose of God. And we are going to do that until Christ comes on earth to take his church or to rule as a king during millennial kingdom. He is in control and his purpose is for us to preach the gospel so that people can be saved. Hore batho ba pholoshwe kreke ya modimo ebe e fellele ebe mmele wa Krista o felletseng and re Krista a itlatlo tsa kreke ya gae purpose ya gae e phetagala ha tlo tsa kreke ya gae a kreye motho o mongwe le o mongwe wa amogetileng a pholoshitswe because there are elects out there by long word so pollution. So it is our duty, it is the purpose of God for us to preach this gospel. So Lina Lamudimu Taboth, Yahweh Taboth, it simply means God is in control to accomplish his purpose in his uh, creations. God is in control to accomplish his purpose in his creation. So whatever God has planned, whatever the purpose of God is, it will be accomplished. Raona purpose ya mudimu yeka sture if it can let you be accomplished, it will come to pass because it is the purpose of God. Whatever happens in our lives is the purpose of God. The reason I'm preaching now is because it's the purpose of God and God is in control. So that is what the name Zaboth mean. And then let's go to because the name God of hosts or the Lord of hosts is in the Bible. Let's start with uh, Psalm 24. I just want to Show you who are capable of doing the fella, capable of carrying the load, and come here. Just a moment, we are going to see Psalm twenty-four. Let's just read. Uh, it is the Psalm. We are going to glorify the Lord. So, verse ten. Let's read the last verse, which is verse ten. Here, who is this King of Glory? The Lord of Hosts. He is the King of Glory. 
the Lord of hosts, or the Lord Sabbath. And then let's go to Isaiah. How will God in control? God who is in control. Okay. More Isaiah over like the angels said, We did like a more rat and pale in order to verse one to verse four. I mean, verse three. Are in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim, each had six wings, with two he. He covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The Lord of hosts, the name Taboth. It shows how God is in control of this earth. God is in control. So the Lord of hosts, the host, the name Tzabot, it just say the Lord of, I mean, God is in control to accomplish whatever purpose that God wants to accomplish. Then let's go to the second name, Jaira. The name Jaira. God Yahweh Jaira, God Jaira, God Jaira simply mean uh, or means uh, God is the Lord who will provide. And the provision of God has been there from the beginning. God provided to Adam and Eve when they were still in the Eden or after he created them, God provided to the animals or all that he created, animals, plants, and everything that God created, he provided to them. Generation after generation, God provided. God provided to Abraham. God provided to the children of um, Adam and Eve. God provided to Abraham. God provided... To the uh, generation of Jesus Christ, generation uh, Yamushe, to the Israelites when they were from Egypt, generation after generation, God is God who provides. That is why Likamu Bible in Atsebahala, Yolekamu Dimu, or provider. Remember the Israelites in the wilderness, God provided. He would tell Moses, worry, Samaya, Ushupeli Swika Kameti. I mean, who should be the speaker of the In the desert, Nana, some who should be the speaker when I knew I live on the Tatra Metina. Mara, this God who provides, this Almighty God, He did all those things. Moses and Ushupagapata, the speaker of the Tatra Meti. And then, Heba to Banabasna, Dijo, God will provide manna so that they can eat. He will provide the query. The query is not only the thing where we the grammar of my being am a whole. So God will provide those things. Worry, by the name, I can't buy the He is God who provides, and then when the enemies attack them, God will provide protection to them. And then, ah, uh, Lena, let's say He is God who provides. Even today, this God is still providing. Today we have jobs, we have families, we have houses, we have cars, we have salvation, we have all that we need because he is still providing. He will continue providing. I am here preaching to you. I am protected. I am safe. He is providing security to me, to my family, to everyone. He is the God who provides. Let me just give this example where Abraham used this name. Genesis chapter 22 verse 14. 
Mudimur le Abraham Mrawar Isaac Abe Ronauri. Tia ena this only son. Oye, kundir las tabelo kaya ena. And then, Mudimur moye, eh, Abraham, uja mrawar gai li du kongli everything. Ga vita ko tabing. Ora de seven zor shalang wana mo nalu mushima nar tana mela taba roshi ba mudim. So mushima no amaka la rudi ras tabelo mara unku ayo. So budi shaba bar mara awaman. Flomo kari lucha li zama ya kabuti. Sisi mose ya shota. Rudi ras tabelo mara. Where is the sheep? And then Abraham ha mu araba arbaling twenty two fourteen. Fourteen ere. So Abraham called the name. Okay, let me start. Go verse six. Verse eight. After the uh, Isaac asked Abraham, "Hore, where is the lamb?" For offering, and then Abraham said, "God will provide for Himself the lamb for a bent offering, my son." So they went both of them together. So this was after Isaac asked his father, "Hore, where is the sheep? Because the whole journey go on, everything is here, but where is the sheep for bent offering or for sekabelo?" So Abraham. Ushumisha the name uh, Jaira or God will provide. So God Yahweh Jaira or God Jaira Ejwa Wanamu or Mudimu ki Mudimu wa provider. And then we see indeed God providing. Uh, verse 14. So Abraham called the name of that place. The Lord will provide, as it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. So this is where this name comes from. It from uh, what God has provided to Abraham, the lamb that God provided to Abraham. So the name Jaira is from there, so mudimu tsebaga la kamidiro yagai God who provides, and then let's go to Rafa, Rafa or Rofe. Rofe simply mean God is the Lord of it. the Lord who heals, because He is, and He will. That is who God is. God will deliver his people to fulfill his will. And then let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 15. Verse Exodus chapter 15. Rabone Linale. 22 to 26. This is where the name came from. Hore, uh, hore Moses made Israel set out from the Red Sea and they went into the wilderness of Shah. They went three days in the wilderness and found no water. When they came to Marah, they could not drink the water of Mara because it was bitter. Therefore, it, it was named Mara. Okay? And the people grumbled against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a lock, and he threw it into the water, and the water became sweet. There the Lord made for them a statute and a rule, and there he tasted, he tested them, saying, If you will uh, diligently listen to my voice, 
to the voice of the Lord your God and do what which is right in his in his eyes and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes I will put none of the disease on you that I put uh, to the on the Egyptians for I am the Lord your healer so the Lord or the Lord who heals comes or the God the healer comes from here so this is what God is saying to them, I am the Lord, your healer. God is telling them who he is to them. This was when they were looking for water. And then And then Because before Thirsty, but the way Mezala was so bitter, they couldn't drink water. They couldn't drink it until Moses Alatala Kotana. And then after that, Mudimu Tomao Bafamelao, Utomo introduced this name to them, Hori. This is who I am. I am the Lord, your healer. Yes. So the name uh, Rafa Ejawanamu. God who heals. He is God who heals. And we know throughout the Bible, He is God who heals. Remember in Acts chapter 3, through Peter, Peter, this man, there was this man, he was born a cripple, and then everyone knew him. He is a cripple. He was born like that. And one day, he Peter abe ayek reking, and then at some his companion he ba fit amola bakra that man begging for money, and then Peter or moe na ore chelete ona garnayo na, and then um mucha ore serka ofa sona ki Paul or unor Emelela kalina la Jesus, and then that man Emelela. So. So when people and then that man followed Peter and his companion in the church. So he was limping. This person was a cripple uh, for the rest of his life until that point. So he was still uh, limping. So he was still limping. Uh, and he was not just going after Peter and his uh, companion. He was praising God because he was praising God. So, verse 8, verse 8, chapter 3, with a leap, he stood upright and began to walk and he entered the temple with them, walking and walking and limping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they were taking note of him as being the one who used to sit. Okay, it's fine. The goal here is to show you already. God has healed this man, and. Uh, this man is acknowledging what God has done to him. He is praising God for healing him. And about over morning, and then they took note of that. They took note of that. They realized, oh, this man, but now here he is working. So God has healed him. He is God who heals. So again, we can go to Mark chapter 3. Let's read Mark chapter 3. Rebone, Paulo, Yemudimu, Aitishang Batu, Kasabati, Bafarasei, Banabasa du Melore, Motuafo Dishe, Kasabat, and then Jesus are, I am uh, the God of Sabbath. So God is, Jesus is healing. Ka Sabbath. Yeah, Okay, Mark chapter 3, again, 
he entered the synagogue and a man was there with a withered hand and they watched Jesus to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. And he said to them, he said to the man with the withered hand, come here. And he said to them, it is lawful on the Sabbath to do good and to do and to do harm, to save life or to kill. Oh, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to kill? But they were silent and he looked around at them with anger, grief, grieved at their hardness of heart and said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately held counsel with Herodians against him how to destroy him. So Jesus offered the withered hand, I believe, it's all a long worry. Libelle short, Libelle sa caring. I get to give you a joke. Libelle, look, yes. And then we do just or man or stretch it. And then let's go la la stretcher. Yeah, but let's go. Lele fell legging. So he is God who heals. And remember the man who was sitting by the poolside for 40 years. So this man stayed there. He was laying there for so many years, but no healing until Jesus came. And he just so afita eh or moye na ro puta malawa na gao otsamae. So munna ola ya ba gona o folaga so he is god who heals even today na lo yena re alwala ene ge re lwala re fel tlamoelo ngwe re re a fola ke mang wa re fodishang god our lord eh rafe he is god who heals this is the name of god ye long worry he introduced himself to israel ge ba ne ba le in the wilderness are ke nna modimo wa go fodisha in the book of exodus i am the god your healer this is the name he introduced himself to them and then let's go to the next name the next name is uh the lord our ben our yahweh nisi Yahweh Nisi, which simply means he is the Lord, my banner, because he is and he will, generation after generation, he will continue being God or the Lord, our banner. I mean, this means... Uh, God will give the standard that will lead people uh, or his people to victory over their enemies. So when Moses worshipped God, he worshipped him as one who gives people victory over his enemies. So we need to know God as God our banner. So God, our banner simply means God who gives victory uh, to his people over his enemies. And then let's go to Exodus chapter 17. Exodus 17 verse 15. Mm. Okay, 14, the Lord said to Moses, write this as a memorial in a book and recite it in the ears of Joshua that I will utterly blot out the memory of Amalek 
from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it, the Lord is my banner. This is where this name comes from. It is the name that God is giving to the uh, to Moses or to the Israelites. Or I am the Lord, your banner. I am God who gives you victory. So God is introducing this name to Moses or to the Israelites through Moses. This is who I am. I am God who will give you victory against your enemies. I mean, Mubisalo mobile lawere, can give a mudimas nalerena, Manavar and Angever Medice repela. They could have killed us, they could have swallowed us alive. Ngevere salarona Narana di locamu, cache longore, Banyakile, who destroy a cachona, but you are still here breathing. Do you think it is because of your own power? No, you don't have power to save yourself. Is God who saved you. Moses saving him from the hands of Pharaoh. Remember, when they left Egypt, and then the Egyptians were coming after them, wanted to destroy them. What happened? Mudimu saved them. And gave them victory over the Egyptians. Mudimuri le mo muzari shupa le wate kapata a shupa le wate la bulaya. And then the Israelites ba feta ba bili bula kore eh mofa si ube uli a dry as if was na meti a second ago. So they passed. Kaba snaba fell and remember there were so many, 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 many ba feta. And then when the Egyptians Pursued them. Barba fita. Mozile nyo mudimu ay kritile. Mudimu atwa lalewate. And then all of them drowned and they died. This is how God gave them victory. He is the Lord, our banner. That is why Moses is introducing or is naming this place. The Lord is my banner. God is God who gives us victory. These are the names of God that we should know him. That is why whatever name that God uh, Let's find the name. Rona kamara ka baibe ili. Ene ibe li na lelo mudimu uki introduce che horena kalona. Because horiti le mudimu mudimu chanje aki introduce che horena. Harino ofa mudimu mai nar nar na na ngori atwanela mudimu mudimu has introduced himself kama inao mogorena. So even to the Israelites, kima ina longore, mudimu ugi introduce to bona, kaona, li, then God our banner, ekalosa se u mudimu eling sona, se u mudimu asidirang the actions, se u mudimu adidirang towards his people. Hele se wana kamarga baibile aselona. This is our guide. This is who God is. We should know him by his names. For today, or let me just give you the last one, uh, which is uh, the uh, Yahweh or the Lord Kadesh. Here, Mega Dish Kem, Kilinalao Felela. Where he is God who sanctifies his people. He is not just God, he is God who sanctifies his people. People, because he is and he will be generation after generation from Adam, Eve, Abraham, Moses, until Jesus Christ, until today, he is still sanctifying us because the word sanctify simply means to set apart. He is God who saves, he is God who set apart. 
He saves his people. He saves his elects. Those he elected for salvation. It happened from the a beginning of creation. After Adam and Eve was never received, Mudimu Obenja Pulusha. His election, he elected, Bibiliri, eh, he chose us, he elected us before the foundation, or he made the foundation of this earth. He knew, mang le mang le mang le mang le mang ke for polusho. And I am going to save them. And by saving us, he is sanctifying us. He is uh, setting us apart. Ah, uh, from the darkness, from sin. When God saves us, he set us apart from the life of sin. Warincha from the kingdom of darkness. Arisha to, uh, to his body, because we are in the body of Christ. To the kingdom of his Marvelous Son, Almighty God, where Christ is the King, where we are, we live by His will, we live by worshipping Him, we live by doing His will. When He saves us, He rescues us, He rescues us, He rescues us from uh, the darkness, and then He transformed us to the kingdom of his marvelous son. This is how he sanctified us. This is how, why we are today. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Verse 13. Or should we start, let's start Leviticus. This name, Echwakai. Leviticus 20. Verse 8. <clears throat> Keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. Kenna mudimu wale polushang who set you apart. This is God introducing himself to us, Kalina Lahai. Leo le Talos and so Mudimu Elisona. He is God who saves, God who sanctifies, God who set us apart. He set us apart by rescuing us from our sins, from his wrath, and put us into the light, into the kingdom of his marvelous son. When God saves us, he saves us from our sins. And he put us into the body of Christ, where Christ is the king, where Christ rules, where Christ is the head of his body, the church. So we are believers, we are Christians, we are who we are, because God, he is God, uh, Magadish Kem, he is God, Magadish Kem, he is God, Kadesh. God who sanctifies. It just simply means he is the one who saves and then he is the one who sustains us in our salvations. He set us apart. So we are, uh, uh, we conquered sin because of him. He made us overcome sin by saving us and he gave us the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Because of the sanctification or the salvation that God has provided to us. So these are the names of God. God Zaboth, God Jaira, God Rofe, God Nisi, God Megadishkem. These are the names Jelungwari, that's why I'm telling you, because my name is Eskibuleji, Atalos Aseo Mudimu Eleng Sona. Mudimu Ale Shekofaje, Mudimu Ale Chireleje against all this 
doctrines che o diganga bo modimo ba re sa batsebeng modimo o bible e sa moleleng so modimo a le chirele je modimo a le khonishe modimo a le fela botlhale ba o understand the maina gae may you be blessed until christ come to take his church amen